Okay. Today we'll see rotate command in uh, Adobe Illustrator. How we can rotate objects and how we can create multiple copies. Before using that, you have to understand one command we have in uh, Illustrator, which is called transform again. For example, if you have that object, hmm, if you copy, hold Alt key, all right, select and hold Alt key and copy it. Now you want to do it again. Hmm, you want to transform it again. Then go to object and here you can choose transform again. The shortcut key is Control D, so it will do it again, all right. Then Control D, you can continue like this, all right. You can select all also and drag and copy. Then Control D, it will transform again. Right. So if you want to do transform again, anything, all right, you can do it. Even if you have line like this, all right, just copy this line, alt and drag, then control D, it will copy like this. All right. So control D we can use for transform again. All right. Then we use rotate command. Maybe you can ask, we can rotate objects also from the corner, right? For example, this is the object. And if you want to rotate, take selection tool and you can just rotate objects from the corner like this, right? You can rotate. So why Illustrator has given separate tool for the rotation? There is a purpose for that, all right? There are two main reasons. The first reason, if, if you want to copy object while rotating, for example, I want to copy this object here. If you press Alt, for the copy, it will not give you copy. First reason. The second reason, by using this selection tool, you cannot change the point of rotation. All right now, the point of rotation is in the mid. All right, you cannot make it here. If I want to change it here, then it will rotate from there. But by using simple selection tool, I cannot create copy while rotating, and I cannot change the pivot point or point of rotation or center point we can say any let's have let's check uh, rotation tool i will make this one and now click on rotation tool from here rotate tool the shortcut keys r hmm? click this one now you will see it will activate this pivot point means midpoint is activated now all right if you don't want to change it just click and rotate you can rotate objects like this hmm? Now object is rotating, you will say what is different? The difference is if you hold Alt key, so it will create a copy, alright? If you do it again, then Control D, so it will create number of copies more, look, it looks like magic, right? Look, alright? So for example, alright, so you can create number of copies like this. Even now we will change its pivot point. So I will just remove stroke from here. Now just change its pivot point. So how to change pivot point or center point? Take a rotation tool. Now you see the pivot point is highlighted. Just click anywhere. If you click here, now you see it's changed from here to here. Now if you rotate, it will rotate on that center point. All right. So if you press Alt, so it will copy. Then Control D. Look. All right. Okay. If you know Pathfinder, you can just mix it. Okay. We will study. Just click here, so it will unite everything. Look, it's become one object. All right, let's create flower. So I will take from here ellipse tool from here. All right, just take this ellipse tool, then take rotate tool from here and change its point of rotation here. Now it's changed. One click you have to do. Then second click and hold. Look, it's rotating. So hold Alt key. It will create a copy. Then Control D like this. Here we have one problem. What's what is the problem here? The distance between each element is not equal. Right, so we we will fix it. Don't worry. For now, you can see what we can do with the rotation tool. Even if we have this one object here and one is here, so we have two objects. So you can select this both together. Select both together and take rotate tool. Now you can see pivot point is here. Now just rotate it and hold Alt key. Look, and it's amazing. Look. All right. So you can rotate anything. All right. For example, if you know this curvature tool, okay, like this, just make one shape like this, all right, and here double click on this node to make like this and just move little bit like this, all right, then take rotate tool, change its pivot point, all right, then move it like this and hold alt key, then control D, look, all right, 
look, you can create amazing things with the rotation tool. All right. So then how you can use simply you can change the pivot point and you can create number of copies. Hmm? Now we will see how we can create number of copies on equal distance. Okay. I will take one for example one circle hmm? and I will create object inside. I will take a line all right within this and I will change the stroke and color from here all right. For example now I have this line. What I want, I want to rotate this small object around this circle by rotation command. So simply you know that, just click this line, take a rotation tool and change its pivot point to the center of the big circle, all right. Maybe if you feel difficulty to find out the circle, center of the circle, then go to view and change to outline view. Then the center will be visible, all right. Then change the center, now you see the center of the line is changed, now just drag like this. And while dragging, it will show you the angle also near the cursor, hmm? like this. So here, just press Alt key, then Control D. Now you will see all objects will be rotated equal. But still, the gap between each object is not equal. We have to do some calculation here. Hmm? Now I want to change the normal view. Right click. You can uh, also uh, check from here. All right, we have. Uh, uh, make sure you haven't selected anything. Line is selected and right click and you can go GPU preview like this. All right. Or you can again view and control Y is shortcut key to change the preview to find out this. Hmm? Now the distance is not equal. I will do undo. Okay. We can do one calculation. All right. If you want to rotate equally in one circle, we have 360 degrees. All right. So in one circle, we have 360 degrees. All right. So you have to do one calculation. All right. So you have to divide 360 and you have to divide by number of copies. I want for example 12 number of copies. So total degrees are 360. I want to divide on 12. So it will be. So I can just calculate from here calculator and here is 360 divided by 12. So you will get angle which will be 30. So if you will rotate your object, this object, all right, so it's, it will be equal to, it will be 30, all right, 30 is the angle, all right. So what I will do, uh, select this one, R for rotate, change its pivot point, all right, so you have to find out the circle, be careful, okay. So before that also make sure that both objects are in center, you can make it center, then it will be accurately moved. Select this one and R and just find out and I think we have to go to the right click and outline. You can do right click outline preview also. So select this one then R for the and click here rotate point has been changed. Now just check the angle. So when it's 30 okay now it's 30.58 so it, it's hard right to so get hold alt and then it's copy then control D like this all right. So you have rotated object on equal distance like this. Now you can see, but still there is some like very minor changes also. So if you want to make it equal, we have to put e accurate angle, all right? We have another method. Now you uh, look carefully. You can, we can object, rotate object also by right clicking, transform and here you have rotate. When you click here, you will get this dialog box. Hmm? And from here, you can give the angle 30, all right, and preview. So you can, but now it's rotating along with this pivot point because we haven't changed pivot point. So you have to change pivot point. I will change, for example, center has been changed. Now, right click, then go to uh, transform and rotate. Now you will see what happened. This pivot point went back to its original position right which we don't want hmm? we want we want this uh, angle okay we want this uh, should be changed and we will get this dialog box as well so there is a trick for that hmm? so what you will do okay what you will do you have to take the rotate command and to find out the center and hold alt key from the keyboard and click so what will happen Pivot point will change simultaneously. You will get also the 
rotate dialog box. Now, here is you will do calculation 360 divided by 12. You can do operation also here mathematical operations. So, preview you will see it is done and do not click OK. If you click OK, it will only move, it will not give you copy. Just click on copy. Hmm? Now, control D done. Now, it is 100 percent accurate distance. Alright, now you will help me. Now I want for for just consider these are like numbers. Now we want minutes for for what? Just consider we are making watch. So I will take line again, all right, from here. So I will just reduce it uh, width. So I will take its width like one point, all right, and I will change its color. So its color has been changed. Now same, you will help me. I will take a rotate tool R, all right, and Alt click. That's the most important one. So find out the center. Go to outline PB and alt click. Hmm. So, here I need 60 copies. Hmm. So, which formula I will enter? 360 divided by 60. Okay. So, preview. So, 6 angle and copy. Do not click on OK. Copy. Hmm. Now, control D. So, these are for seconds. All right. Look at there. So, it is 100 percent accurate. Control D I am pressing. Same we can do with numbers also. Take numbers like this and just type 12, right? So, I will type 12 here, all right? Just make sure it is in center of the circle. So, you can click here and click this one and just make it center like this, all right? I will teach if you have not studied, no problem, okay? So, R for rotate, Alt click on center. Now, I need 4 copies, 360 divided by so, angle will comes and then control D like this. Okay, now you can change the preview, JP preview. Now, very simply you can do click here now, hold shift key to rotate equally or shift key in simple rotation. I am doing okay, no need to go with like this. Now, double click and change it. So, here what it will be 0, 3, right? 0, 6, and here 0, 9. All right. Like this, you can create. All right. The most important thing only you have to press Alt click. All right. Alt click to get accurate. Okay. We can do also one thing. All right. So amazing thing you can do also. So, what I will do, I will create one rectangle from here. Okay. I will click here. I am just creating one leaf, for example, like click with shift, click here. Hmm. And I will just make it copy, Alt drag, and flip it by clicking here in properties panel. All right. Now, I have uh, just like this, okay. So, just give them this. Hmm? So, like this and just rotate it like this, okay, and group it, all right, like this. So, you have this object. Now, you will see you have seen this shape in a lot of uh, logos, okay. So, I have this circle, okay. I will just make it outline like this, all right. You can make it like a little bit like this. So, what I will do, I will just bring in center, just select both and we'll just make it center. So, like this, okay. You can make it small also. So, like this, and now here we will start game. So, press R, change its pivot point again, Alt click, right? Then, here we need, for example, 30 copies 360 divided by 30, all right? Then, preview. So, just copy, then control D. Look, look at there, right? Now, again, you can create any shape like you can create like this, all right, and make sure only the line, okay, you can change its line or like many things you can create, just create with the rotate tool, all right. So, you have, for example, here one uh, like this, all right, and this one, okay. So, what you can do, you can just select this one, you can group it, all right, then rotate tool and find out the center of this, alt click. Now, same angle already is there, copy. Now, see, control D. Look, right? So, maybe you have seen a lot of drawing like this, but this is amazing, all right? So, you can use uh, uh, for many things this rotate command is very important, all right? So, same in rotate, we have one more command, okay, which is called the reflect, okay? Near, uh, inside this rotate, we have reflect also. Reflect means flip. Hmm? Now, same you will ask question like you can also look for example, you can draw anything like this and you can flip it. So, only the fill is removed. 
so you can flip from here also but i cannot create copy while flipping but by using this command we can <laughs> create copy here is a reflect okay this tool by using this tool not only you can create copy you can change also point of pivot point so if i will click here the point is changed now just flip if you will hold alt key so it will look it will create copy hmm? we have one also you can use right click and you can go transform and from here you can use reflect okay then here you can just if you will create copy you can flip reflect horizontally or vertically as well angle you can also and create copy so it will create copy and you can just move like this as well right then you can use with direct selection tool right click you can join also if you want to join you can right click and join also if you want to join like this hmm? no it's a, like a pen shape we have created all right so many things you can create so this is uh, rotate command and uh, reflect command okay now you can create a watch and logo like this all right so just do it